I always knew I'd be rich, because I have incredible ideas. I mean, you're wearing one of them right now. It's my shirt. I mean, yeah, it, it, of course it is. I made it. So it's gonna be a nice t-shirt. It's probably gonna be one of the best t-shirts in the entire world if I'm involved. I, that's... Why am I here? Because as the money man of the group, I, I thought that you might like to hear about the new direction of our business. But now that you're rich, you don't need me to give you money anymore, right? I, well, well I, I wouldn't say that I was, that I was rich, you know, because... You literally just said that 30 seconds ago, though. All right, well, you know, let's not analyze the past. You know, let's, let's, let's look to the future. Specifically, the future of our business and, and also the future of, of the world. Ben, what are you talking about? Well, you know, it might surprise you, but my newfound wealth has actually changed the way that I think about life. I've been trying all these incredible business ideas to make enough money to leave this town because honestly, I thought that it was an awful, horrible tragedy of a place. But you know, my journey to becoming a man with a lot of money Just is, say uh, rich. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Just it's, say it. You're rich and you don't need money from me anymore. Will you just let me continue with what I was trying to say? Because it was a whole... There's a whole thing. Okay, go. Shoot. My journey to becoming a man with, with more money than I once had, but, but clearly not enough to fund and operate a business, has made me realise that this place, you know, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Think of the great times we've had, you know. Think of the bond that we've made together. Think of the great people we've met. The things that we've done, you know. And also, think of this greased up beefcake. That thing real? Yeah, I, I found it out, out inside of the back of the house. Someone just just threw it there on the street, I, I don't know why. Why the hell would anybody throw that thing away? I don't know. I don't know, it's incredible, isn't it? It makes no sense to me, but you know what does make sense? It's my passion for this town and the things that happen in it. And I want to be a part of that as much as I possibly can be. Are you starting a charity or something? That's ridiculous. What? Why would I start a charity? Like, it sounded like that was the thing you were just about to tell us. No, no, no charity. That's. That's not happening, but what is gonna happen is all the business ideas that I have going forward, you know, they'll, they'll be about making this town a better place, while also making me a lot of money. So you're not leaving? No, nothing's ever gonna make me leave this place ever again. I'm here for the rest of my life. That's the best news I've heard in weeks, mate. Don't, don't, don't hug me, cause, oh, sorry, mate. I'm just really enjoying it. Well, we're, we're not, we're not mates either, so oh. I mean, but the good news is that we do have a lot of time to work on that, so, so maybe one day we'll, we'll be mates, but, but not right now, because, you know, we're not quite there in the relationship. Okay, is that all you need me for? Yeah, that's, that's all I had to say, really. Yeah, that's... Okay, well, I'm going to go then, yeah? All right. I mean, that's, that's, that's fine by me. You can, you can leave. He's a bit of a dickhead. He, he is. He is, he's a massive dickhead. But the, the good thing for you is that you'll never have to meet him in, in your entire life, because, I mean... Yeah. He's you know what? awful, awful, easily one of the worst people I've met in my entire life. And honestly, it's, it's making me angry just kind of talking about him right now. Stop. So I, I, yeah, I'd quite like to move past that and move on to something else. Like, let's, yeah. let's me and you go do something right now. Let's, let's go change the world. Me and you, let's go change the world right now. Sounds good. Sounds good. So I was thinking for the first business idea, we could probably do something with that greased up beefcake bus. Because yeah. it'd be a waste if we didn't do anything. Is that my heart? Is he stealing my heart? It, it, it does look like that. Yeah, that, that's... Yep. How would you get home? I mean... Uh, I, could, I could take you home. If you have a car. Uh, this is nice. I mean, I wouldn't really call it that. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> that's... Don't fall. Don't fall, because... I mean... So I was thinking, um... Could you give me some money for a new car? You want, you want money from me? Well, yeah, like, you promised me someone I signed up, you know, you've been selling all the t-shirts, you make some good money on them. That is the truth, but, uh, the next time I see you, I'll, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll have the money for you. You can have, you can have the money then. Oh, that, sounds that, sound, good. that sound good? That sounds good, yeah. All right.
going to let you hide out here for a few months. No. So if you can just take that. Oh, I mean, oh, very tight, very tight living situation you got here, isn't it? That's Liam, what happened to you never leaving your town again? Yeah, uh, slight change of plan on that one. Uh, the slave asked me for money, so I'm going to stay here for a few months until he forgets. Let that die down. No, no that's this not... is filthy, by the way. No. You should not. Nobody should be living in these this, conditions. No. I thought you were better than this. this to be honest, is not mine. that's disgraceful. That's it's not mine. What up? What are you? What are you, what are you doing here? I'm um, uh, just chilling. That's. What are you doing? You're, you watching wrestling? Yeah, come on That's, down. You want me to? You want me to hop in there? That's, I was gonna. I was gonna ask that because I see Hulk Hogan on the screen. And like yeah, that. he's absolutely. he's he's like the best, right? I mean, like he's probably like top tier beefcake. I mean, probably a little bit underneath me because I mean, look at me. That's if I was getting a wrestling, that would be it, it'd be over for for all wrestlers ever. Look you know that, what I mean? Look at that chest, man. Look at the back. It's man. incredible. Like, look at that. Wow. That's, those are biceps right there. Did he just kill that man right there? Yeah, That's like, is he, is he dead, do you think? Yeah, no, I know. I, I think that might be Phil too, right there, you know? You got one last chance to make me even more rich than I already am. Uh, I've added a few more shirts to the Boogie Boys store, so if you missed out last time, you know, be quicker. Be quicker, because it's a very small amount. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a very limited thing. People, people are wanting them all over the globe, you know? It's, it's very very popular and if you don't get one of them this time not only are you making your life worse but more importantly you're making my life worse so go get a shirt uh, boogieboys.co get the shirt <laughs> you heard him